Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my God, I wonder, are you guys all going crazy with Christmas shopping and you know, just prepping for the holidays? I know it's like an incredibly busy time of year. Anyways, um, I am going to announce the winner of my Guéache device. I can never say it in a little bit, but I wanted to first of all open this video up by wishing you all a very, very happy, happy holiday. And uh, I will probably do one more video with Jay because I do want him to talk about that foot massager I mentioned because he uses that like twice a day. It he does like twice a day, so I'm gonna you know probably add that at the beginning of the week something like that but I wanted to definitely just pop in here and tell you a couple of different things a number of you have asked me about my necklace when some of you have seen that I wear this necklace um, and I hope it's picking up it's a gold heart and it's a gold wedding ring and it's a gold chain I the heart here was given to me my birthday's on Valentine's Day so hearts, stars, purple, those things always um, have meant a lot to me. And this was given to me by my mother and um, my mother and father. I don't even know how many years ago it was. And as the gold chain. And after my mom died and we were, we were cleaning out and stuff, I found her wedding ring and I kept the wedding ring. So I put it on this chain and I wear it next to the heart that she gave me. And I, this is the wedding ring my dad gave her. It's just a plain gold band. And after my mom, my mom and dad were married an awful long time and you know, they came to America and, went, and in Germany, you know, my dad, they couldn't really afford much. So it was just a plain gold band, but a solid gold band. And uh, then they came to America, and my my dad, you know, he got his he got his first job in America, and then he went on to school. My brother and I went to school. We kind of learned how to speak the language, and but my dad ended up getting a job. He was a tool maker, a tool and die maker, and very quickly he started to really do a lot of side jobs. Um, he did jobs for NASA. He did a, a bunch of different jobs. And, um, and so over the course of a couple of years, he was able to save money and they bought a parcel of land in Salem, New Hampshire, where we went and some of you know the story and we would go on weekends and we would clear the land and, and slowly my dad built the house when we just sold that house this year. It, it was, it was the hardest closing I have ever ever been involved in because I couldn't even go to the closing. I had to have a separate closing because I knew I would just sit there and ball. And I sat there and, and cried, even though there were no buyers in the room. But anyways, um, this gold band means more to me than anything. And as my mother and father, you know, got, um, you know, more money and, and, you know, us kids grew a little bit. My mom used to make all my own clothes and stuff like that. And she would perm my hair when I was little. Um, stuff like that, you know. So as we got older and all of that, my father made more money and my mother then got, she got a lot of pearls. So I have a lot of her pearl necklaces. But my mother was always into jewelry. And I think maybe that's where I get it. This little diamond starfish or star um, is a gift from my mother and father, white gold with a white gold neck uh, chain and um, just little tiny, little tiny diamonds. And I, and I wear this all the time. And lately I've been wearing this a lot because it was that gift for my mother and father. And sometimes it's those little things, you know, like their gold wedding band. I, I touch it and I, and I can, I, 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 I'm overcome with emotion because I can, I can picture my father giving it to my mother. I can picture my father getting it and I can picture my father giving it to my mother and my mother putting it on her hands, you know, and my mother wore this. I mean, for all, she really wore this all the time, even when she got diamonds and, and all this, she always wore her, her band. So that's the story 
behind this necklace and I do mix my jewelry. I'll have a gold, yellow gold, white gold, I'll have, you know, silver, I'll have pearls. I do mix my jewelry up. I don't really care. It doesn't have to all match for me. So, anyways, prepping for the holidays and prepping for other things right after the holidays. And we have a lot of stuff going on and I'm like I'm just like overwhelmed with it all, you know. I had a couple of doctor's appointments and I actually have a doctor's appointment next Friday. I uh this past Friday I had uh, my primary, then I had to go back to the oncologist to the um for the medication that I'm taking, the anti-breast cancer medication that I'm taking and the, some of the side effects. So I had that visit and then I went to my primary care. And so Friday, he, they recommended and I got in really quick. So I was really surprised because I thought I wouldn't get into like maybe April. But um, I got a call from a, um, a uh, it's basically a, a OBY gen gynecologist, basically. And the doctor that I'm going to see was someone I really wanted to see, but she's booked up. So I didn't think I would get in, but I, there was a cancellation. So I got this cancellation for next Friday. So I'm going to be doing that next week. And then I think I'm done for the year, I hope, with doctors. I wanted to show you, I have been really antsy for... Um, <laughs> just really antsy. I have been wanting to get a new curling iron. I've looked at a few of them. I have a couple of flat irons. There was one that was sent to me. I cannot use those flat irons. I'm just a curling iron girl. I really need to have the, you know, the little cover on it. So anyways, I got a gift certificate to Ulta and I won't mention names, but you know who you are. I didn't even spend my whole gift certificate. So I got a gift certificate to Ulta and I had 20% off on this. So I picked up the Baby Bliss Pro and I've really been wanting this. I've seen it. Um, I just haven't really wanted to spend the money. So it's got the barrel. This is the one, is it the one and a half? Yeah, the one and a half inch. So it's going to be the bigger kind of curls the looser curls that I really like. I didn't want a one inch and I didn't want the two inch. I just think they're really big. But this is really nice. It's not too heavy. I can set the heat. It also has the cool. So you can set a curl when you give it a little burst of cool. I really like it. And they, it's sort of like turbo in a way, right? It, it's, it really can heat up quick. It goes up to 450 degrees. Not that I would ever, ever want to do it that hot, but Baby Bliss Pro, that's what I got, and I'm super excited about it. So I probably would not have spent the money and got, and got this, but for the fact that I had that gift certificate. So thank you, thank you so much. Two other things that I bought when I was in Ulta, and I have not tried this before, but this is their eye serum, and I've actually heard some good reviews on this. Uh, I, If you use it, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But I got their eye serum and most of my eye creams, I was running out of a lot of the eye creams and I really want to, I have a lot of crow's nests, not crow's, crow's feet, you know, coming down here. You probably can't see it too well, but I can, I can see it. So I really want to use this. I've been using the Nano and I've been going around my eyes and I've been trying to go around here and along with that I've been, you know, using the um, microcurrent and my red light, you know, so I mean I have my whole routine. But I got this, so I'm really excited to give that a try. I was like, okay. And I got another bottle. This will be in my next empties, unless I threw it out. But I got another bottle of the Ordinary. This is their hair care. This is their nourishing moisturizing um it's got a bunch of it's hyaluronic acid but it is it is for your hair and um i've had this before it's drops you shake it up it's very cloudy looking you shake it up really good and the recommendation thing is that you use this at night i have to be super careful because i don't wash my hair every day so when i put this on 
before bed, I'm going to massage it. I have one of those round comb things and I put that in. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I should probably do a video on just what I do for my hair because I've got this whole system that I'm doing for my hair between the hat, uh, between the special shampoo and all of that. And the reason I'm doing all of that is because the, I have thinning here to begin with, but the medication I'm on also, one of the side effects is thinning hair. So if your hair is thinning and then you're taking medication that'll make it thinner, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, everything that I'm doing at least maybe makes it so it isn't so severe. That's what I'm hoping. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping um, I'm lucky with it. I really don't know. I'm going to keep trying. But I ended up picking up some thermal rollers. I had a older set that had different sizes. But then I saw these thermal rollers, these black ones. So I picked up this package in Ulta. Do you guys ever do you guys ever do that? Use that? But what I do with these because they've got the this has ceramic, I think. Uh, yeah, this is ceramic thermal. And I, this is, I don't think these, my old ones are not ceramic, but they're the same idea. But I just never had enough of the right sizes. So I on, you know, on like I'll just put some of these rollers in the top part of my hair, just up there. I'll spray a little heat protectant on it, my hot sets actually, and then I'll put a few on the side and in the back. And that's kind of what I do with them. But I just, like I said, didn't really have the uh, enough of the right sizes for those. I have the regular ones, but not the ones that you can heat up. So then you put it on. Then I take my hair dryer and I put it on low and I warm up those rollers. My hair's dry. I may have the heat protectant on it. And I'm just like warming up. I probably, you know, I don't spend a whole lot of time. It's like, may, depending on, on um, maybe five minutes, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. So usually I'm doing that in between layering something on my skincare and then I shut the dryer off and I just leave the curlers in and then I putz around do whatever and until they cool sometimes I leave it man if I'm not going anywhere or if I'm not going to be on camera if I'm not teaching a class or anything like that sometimes I just leave them in for an hour it doesn't much matter so when I take them off then I'm going to have those curls and I really kind of like that a lot so um, yeah, so that was my my curlers, the ordinary, and that awesome curling iron. Whew. Now, we don't decorate, so I haven't had to struggle with any decorations here, and I miss that sometimes, but when we go to my sister's, we decorate, and um, the last night we had an event we went to at my office, and then after the opening ceremony, the ribbon cutting for the location in, in Salem, we went down to this place called Tuscan Village, and they have restaurants, and this is sort of a work-play community, work-live-and-play community. They have condos, and it's it's like this whole, whole community. So they've got a couple of restaurants, they've got a medical center, they've got banks, they've got grocery stores, they have an altar, they have a ton of stores, and it's, a lot of it is, they have, especially in the summertime, they have music, um, they have a little square area overlooking a pond where they have music, and it's just a fun, fun place. So this winter, they decorated for Christmas, and they had all the holiday lights. So Jay and I walked through there for the holiday lights. I'm going to superimpose some of the photos. I don't know why I did not take any video clips. Shame on me. But I did take a lot of photos. So I'm going to superimpose those. I think I just... Yeah, I just uh, I just love looking at the holiday lights. And we're probably, I don't know if we'll do anything this weekend or not. Um, but if we do before this is published, I'll put it in. But if not, I'll go into my, my next video, which I will have one more video before the holidays. And then you might not see me for a little bit, for about maybe a week or so. I'm not sure yet. But so... I'm, I don't know. I'm really excited about this holiday season, and I'm really excited about 2024. It, this year has been a tough, tough year, I know, for many of us. And, um, yeah, I'm just like, uh, I'm so excited for this holiday season and then next year. Anyways, 
thank you so much for all your support and and if you don't catch my next video i hope you all have a wonderful holiday season but i do hope you catch my next video and stay tuned for the winner and make sure you leave me your information and d direct message me so that i can get that in the mail for you thank you and have a have a wonderful day Whew. so you know i um I, I definitely wanted to film it and I and I couldn't. So I'm just gonna tell you who it was that won my giveaway. So we talked about this in my uh, empties video where I had received this from Candy Way and they actually had sent me two. And there's a QR code here and the directions here. And I'm going to send this off to one of you that entered into this little giveaway. So please send me your address so I can actually send this off to you before the holidays and, and hopefully then it'll get to you pretty quickly. But, you know, I don't quite know where you are. So anyways, the winner is Wanda Ross 9031. So Wanda, you know, uh, you're 69, same age as me. And, um, and I'm hoping that you can really enjoy that. I've done this a number of times and you just do the face massaging. It's really so nice and it really helps you with the puffiness and stuff like that. So anyways, Wanda, make sure that you either reach out to me. My email address is going to be in the description box below. Send me an email if you, because I, I know people don't want to put their address publicly, but send me an email with your address so that I can send this to you. If you send me the email with your address, just make sure you acknowledge it here so I know to go look. Um, in the email and all that. So, but anyways, congratulations. I'm super excited for you and I'm super excited to send that out. Now, for those of you that have been with me all the way through this video and you might be wondering what's going on with my hair. Well, I went and I had a perm. <laughs> no, I wish I did. But this is actually uh, a wig that was sent to me from a Wig Studio One. So I am going to not really do a review, but a look-see. So if you're curious about this piece, I'll tell you, this is so comfortable. I have had this on all day. I have been in, I have been out, I've been doing stuff. This is just, it's just super comfortable. And this is the way I used to wear my hair a little bit longer. And I just love it. So stay tuned for a little look-see on this wig. Other than that, you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend and your week. And I will be back before the holiday with Jay. And um, we'll talk about his foot massage. It's amazing, that thing. Anyways, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. So this is going to just be a quick look-see at Ellen Villa's Scala. Scala. This is a heat-friendly, mono-part, short wig. And this is in the color Light Bernstein, Bernstein Rooted. I received this complimentary from Wig Studio One. And this is something that I have had. I've got, I actually have two wigs or had two wigs on my wish list. And, um, and this was one that I was just really curious about. This is a newer release from Ellen Villa. And I'm gonna show you the cap. This is a closed, closed wefted cap, really comfortable cap. The thing with, I think, these types of caps is they don't have as much stretch. So I've not put this on my head yet, um, but I have a 22 inch circumference. We will see how this fits. What I like about this is that you've got a lot of loose waves. I'm not too sure how this color is going to work for me. I have. I have two toppers in this color, and in the toppers, the color was perfect. And I have found that from piece to piece, you know, and I've mentioned this before in different wig manufacturers, that 
you can get the same shade and it can be slightly different or very different. So I'm going to put Scalar on my head and share it with you. There we go. I have no idea how this is going to look or fit. Pull it down, pull it up. Whoa! Woo -hoo. <laughs> wow. I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling kind of like young and, um, sassy, <laughs> if that's the right way to describe it, with this. Holy moly. This is going to be one of those pieces that when I wear it, I won't be able to stop smiling because my hair, I used to wear my hair like this, except a wee bit longer. You know, I used to have perms and I would have all sorts of crazy waves. And then when I blow, when I used to blow dry it out, I would blow dry it sort of like it almost would look like a Farrah Fawcett style, but I had all the different layers and, um, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I've done nothing to it. I just took it out of the box. You know, I have, um, I combed it. I use a wide tooth comb and um, I haven't spritzed it with water. I have done nothing with it. I'm going to superimpose an outside shot for you right now so you can see what it looks like in the outside unaltered. <laughs> I've done nothing to this. Oh my gosh. So isn't she cute? I think this is, I think this is adorable. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Andrea. Wig Studio One. I, I love it. I love it. I do. I love it.